it's too long. Oh my god. Uh, mirrors and bloom. Aussies represent... Okay, so is this an Aussie group then? Mirrors. Yeah, I've heard the name before a few times, but it might be just you requesting it several times. That's always possible. Because, yeah, my memory's bad enough. I'll be like, I just know I've heard that a lot. Chakran Thoth? The Silent Witness. Hey, Jordan, how we doing? Welcome to the party. I don't forget to do the intro. Yeah, thank you, Alan. You've got my back. I appreciate you. Uh, and yeah, and speaking of, like, let's, let's do this. Just in case. So, because this is, yeah. This would be my first time ever listening to an artist called Mirrors. I'm pretty sure I've never heard them before. I do not recognize the name. Uh, this song is called Beneath the Sand. So thank you very much. This, I'm attempting this on a live Twitch stream. So hopefully this is going to go the full gamut and we'll see how we do. So this song is four minutes, 14 seconds long and go. An old school record player start. Glass beats from the off. Yes, please. Oh, thank you. I was hoping it would kick into a groove. The gap in the rift. Love the guitars. Nice. Yes, please. Spacious vocal melody here. Oh, and it's extended, nice. Yeah! Oh, teasing. Love a shot of go. Mary Jonathan Davis. Join the atmospheric lead guitar layers too. Ah, mate. This is amazing. Great vocal range of abilities. This part's very beautiful, but it takes it away from banger territory because we'll always have this lull. Good drummer, clearly. Technical ability and feel. That fucking note is crazy good. Oh, 
Oh my god. That ripped. Mate. Claps. For that. Was that you, Josh? Hang on. Let me, let me check the... Uh, yeah, Josh. Mate, your, your taste in music and mine, they, they align, sir. Uh, that was fantastic. I loved that. I mean, it had everything in it. Everything that I enjoy. It had plenty of groove. The drumming was incredible. I wasn't, when it started out, it was blast beats. I'm like, what are we in for here? But that showed technical ability. Very tight, very consistent, all good. But then the grooves were there and the, the subtlety of difference in the, you know, dynamics between the snare hits, but you know, shuffliness in there. Uh, fantastic, love that, ghost notes for days. Great fills, just fantastic. Lots of feel as well as the technicality. I enjoy the guitars, especially, I'm a sucker for guitar riffs where they leave a gap in it. There's something about that that locks you into it. And that's fantastic, really catchy. The vocal range of abilities by that gentleman was wild. Both in terms of like the variety of different screams they would do, and great clean vocals, really strong. And quite kind of expressive as well. I didn't expect for that kind of a song, this sort of tight metalcore sound, to have such a spacious long chorus. That chorus was like 32 bars or something. That was really interesting. And I said it during the reaction, but like, I loved the lull in there. That was a wonderful palate cleanser. And give you time to kind of really, you know, recap of what was what you just listened to and what might be coming next. But if I want to put on like, the rest of the song was so banging, I just want to hit go and just rock for the whole thing, but you're always going to have that moment of pause. Maybe you need it. Maybe it's too much banger for one full whack from start to finish. Um, but that was amazing. I'm, I'm sorry that it's taken me this long to check out Mirrors because now I feel like I want to, I'm going to deep dive into them. <laughs> that was incredible. Wonderful stuff. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, a rating. Let's give that a rating. <clears throat> I mean, can you predict the rating? I'm sure you can. There's only one possible rating for what that was. Like, I'm new to the band. I don't know. I think Masterpiece would be pretty strong. But it was, it was certainly up there. But uh, I, I would say delicious on first go around. But I, I'd be flirting with, I enjoyed that so much. Gen from the whole, the whole thing. There's so much in there to, to enjoy. From the song structure, the performance, everything. Uh, fantastic. What an opener for the first time live on Twitch, man. The only way is down, surely. How are we going to top that? That was great. Oh, or, I guess we could try to find a masterpiece. That'd be fun. All right. Uh, let's reset this and go on like that. What, I mean, Josh. Well done, brother. Very, very nice. I, I, I purposely like didn't look at the chat during that thing because I didn't want to be distracted. So now I'm going to catch up on that and see what, what folks were saying. Uh, next thing you know, we're going to say hello YouTube in the chat. Yes, eventually I'll, I'll figure out a way to do the Drew Fortune ticker or something. Um, sick, yeah. I, I'm definitely putting it on my playlist, no question. Uh, what else have we got here? Da, 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 da. Been requesting, yeah, you've been requesting for ages. I know. And so, but, hey, you know. Eventually, persistence pays off. Alan is the same thing. Alan, eventually I did Dying Wish, didn't I, Alan? <laughs> uh, hello, Jim Graham. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Ashley, they're good live too. They're that good live too? Oh, man, that's exciting. I'm going to add, I'm assuming you all use Bands in Town. If you don't, there's an app, or I guess it's a website as well, called Bands in Town. And I'm going to add them to mine right now. And then it will alert me when they're going to be playing a gig in London, which I definitely want to check out. Mirrors. Amazing. Explore. Mirrors. Let's add that. Mirrors? If I could spell properly, that would really help. Uh, I probably haven't drunk enough wine. That's probably what it is. Uh, what else we got? I want the bass slightly higher in the mix. Interesting. I mean, are you... It might depend on your speakers. Are you listening to what you normally listen to? Um, I, th I think... I didn't notice that, but I'll, I'll have another listen to that. Delicious. Yeah, called it. Yeah, boy. Uh, the album, The Ego's Weight, Cracker After Cracker. Okay, that's exciting, man. I can't wait. Leave Them Behind, another good one. Tasty as fuck, yeah. Starting out strong. Yeah, no shit. Um, Ego's Weight is so good. Cool. Guys. Guys and gals. Thank you for that. What an opener. Okay. Now, if I'm circling back in the chat to see other... Uh, suggestions for things to react to. I don't know which ones of these have taken the piss and are actually 20 minutes long. Uh, Nissa, Brett. Um, so, what was this other one here? You and I Bloom. Yeah, I think you might have requested that in a comment, right? Um, I've not got to that one yet, so. They're very small, so I don't think they'll tour the UK soon. Damn. Damned and blast. But you know, hopefully, I mean, as 
because Australia is on fire when it comes to amazing metal bands and metalcore bands. So they're growing, right? North Lane comes over, Void of Vision comes over, um, uh, Polaris, of course. So you got to hope that they will bring mirrors along with them. We can but hope. Okay, so I'm going to look up here. Uh, where is it now? You and Bloom. What was it? You and I, Bloom? Did it, did, 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 mirror, Bloom? Oh, the, the chat's gone up now. You and I, Bloom. Okay. Now, because we started so strong, do you, are you feeling good about this? Are you confident this? I mean, it doesn't have to be as good. It just has to be interesting, right? Um, right. Is it Bloom or is it Boom? Oh, I got this wrong. Bloom, yeah, you and I, Bloom. Okay, I've looked, I've searched for that, but it's not come up with what looks like a song. Uh, maybe it's the ampersand is the issue. You and I, Bloom. If someone can ping me a link to it in the chat, is that, or, or just let me know exactly. Drew Fortune, hello. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for welcoming me to Twitch. It's very nice here. See the steep token news? Well, I've not seen, uh, the news, the only news I've had is that three is back on Instagram. Is there something else that's coincided? Was it just a big marketing ploy? And they're like, the news is we've got a big tour. Um, Cause I've already got a couple of dates, but yeah, big, if, if you're in the chat, cause you're, you're a, f a follower of my uh, YouTube channel and you're not of Drew's, follow him on the old Twitch as well. Marketing, marketing, oh, that, that makes me sad if that's the case. Or they just, can't, you know, they're just using the situation, trying to make it a positive. Say it ain't so, huge tour. <laughs> ah, bastards. Absolute bastards. That would be very annoying <laughs> if that's the case. We're like, oh, the poor lads. Uh, they'll be just fine. <laughs> they'll be just fine. Uh, they got us. Fucking, oh, I don't know. I've been drinking the Kool-Aid for too long. I think that's what it is. Like they would know. They're above this sort of thing. Actually, they're very sophisticated. <laughs> oh, well, that's fine. I'm always happy to talk about sleep token. What a fucking tune. Uh, yeah, man. Jesus Christ. Mirrors. I'd never listened to them before. And it was phenomenal. Absolutely amazing. Um, so amazing. I'm now trying to find you and I bloom. Um, and it's coming up with not that. You and I bloom. Is, is there like... I don't know. Is there a... I don't know. How am I going to find this thing? I'm getting like some Japanese stuff. Uh, da, 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 bomb, boom. There you go. Thanks. Appreciate the link. That is going to make life a lot easier. Bloom. Okay, so the band is called Bloom. Okay, good to know. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to do a quick little uh, rejig of the aspect ratio here to make sure we see the whole thing. There we are. I need to go into filters. There's got to be a faster way of doing this. Uh, Gantt transform, close, do that. Okay. <coughs> I still have the cold, but uh, this is too much fun. All right, Bloom. This will be my first time ever listening to it. Do you know, actually, I've put in some, some hot strokes. That's not what it's called, is it? Keystrokes? Hot, hot keys. Um, to try and emulate what I do in the edits. Let me see if this, this is going to work. So I can, I can slowly zoom in, right, while I'm doing my initial intro, which is nice. And then I can zoom out, and then in, and then out, to make it all engaging and shit. Now, no, let's try it out. This will be my first time ever listening to Bloom. I understand from the Twitch chat that this is a, an Australian band, which is exciting. Uh, I've never heard them before. This song is called You and I with an ampersand in it. Sure, made it hard to find on YouTube. There we are. So I'm excited to check this out. This is three minutes, 51 seconds long. Let's load this thing up and go. <laughs> Sorry, I saw the chat there. Alan says it's gonna be sick. Uh, funny. Nice closed hi-hat, yes sir. Off to a good start. Now 
Nice fucking drum fill there, surprising. Singers, potentially. Great drum sound. Gotta look out at the samples. Bit of an old school kind of emo vibe. Enjoying the nostalgia. I love that drum fill. Yeah, yeah. Calm muted. No, it's not. This is wrong out, but it's... Eighth notes. Yeah, yeah. A bit more body to it. Hanging out by the house plants is giving me in the anime vibes. But without a whisper that is added. That feels great. Well balanced guitars in this. Perfectly tuned. That's that would be very important. This is so nostalgic for me. I listen to a shitload of this stuff in my teens. It's beautiful. Kind of blink with a two inch. In their later years. Neck deep. Bit of a story so far. Yeah, definite the story. So far, vibes. <laughs> I'm not laughing at the line. The nostalgic of it. Even the music video has got that very old school look to it. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, as you can tell, I, I, I enjoyed that. Um, in terms of picking it apart, <clears throat> I said something that sounds really stupid to say during that, which is that you'd need the guitars to be in tune for this. What I mean by that is, you'd be surprised that in, in the studio, if you're, you tune up your guitars to go and you know, play a few lines of a song, whatever it is, but they will gradually get slightly out of tune. You need to stay on top of that and retune to make sure they're exactly in, especially if you're doing things like that, where there's the, the layering of the clean guitars. If any of those are slightly off, this big sound is gonna be slightly unsettling for some reason. Right? And it's gonna be because of a slight mistuning. So that would've been a key thing for those kind of big rung out chords, especially in the chorus bit there. So um, that was kind of fun. I, I really liked that. You know, it reminded me of, yeah, as I said during the thing, the story so far, neck deep. Some Blink-182 moments, maybe in their later years, Mark Hoppus's voice, kind of reminded me of, of that a little bit. Um, it was great. I really liked that. It's in particular, that drum fill that happened uh, in each of the choruses, great. That was an absolute star piece within there. Uh, caught me off guard first time around and then later on you kind of expect it. So that was brilliant. Good vocals, I enjoyed those. Cause there's a risk with this kind of music, you can go a little bit whiny. Uh, and I think they stayed on the right side of that for me. It was, it was, well, it was well performed. Um, and you know, generally with this kind of style of, of rock, it's not gonna be wildly innovative in song structure and it wasn't necessarily. No, 
of little surprises in there that I was suspecting that kind of kept it interesting, but you kind of want it to feel somewhat safe and home, which, uh, which that was. So I, I dug that. That was nice. I don't know how much of my enjoyment of that was a nostalgic thing, um, but that was good. I also really enjoyed the kind of 18, the eighth notes that happened at some point there with the guitars, um, heavy distortion stuff. Very nice. And to rate it, I don't know. I'm, I'm between, between this and this. This is where, this is where I'm at. I, I, it was really fucking, you know, I mean, I'm, let's err on the side of positivity. It was delicious. I like that. I'd happily listen to that again. I think that was a pretty strong song, you know, genuinely. I, I don't, you know, it wasn't rewriting the, the rock history books. It's not trying to. And again, I think it could have suffered from being a little bit on the whiny edge if they went the wrong route there, but I thought it was really well balanced. And maybe it just got me with the fucking tasty drums. The drums in that were strong. Really enjoyed that. So, uh, yeah, nice. What did everyone else think? I'll do the Drew thing. Put your ratings in the chat. Tell me if you, if you thought that was solid or, or, or delicious or masterpiece. Um, but, 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 what, what he said here, uh, g -g -g -g. song is an outlier of the usual work, very counterparts. Interesting. Counterparts I'm still not yet totally on board with. Because <clears throat> what I've heard of them is either chaos or like gorgeous acoustic, right? Is that the band I'm thinking of? And I wish, I don't know, I was about to say something stupid like, I wish they'd pick a lane. No, you don't have to pick a lane. But like, the voice is so beautiful in the acoustic stuff. And I think I just did not like the vocals at all in the heavier stuff. I kind of wished they had some of the cleans and the heavier stuff. I don't know. Um, solid plus plus, solid high end of solid for me. High end, really on the, really on the borderline of delicious. Yeah, it's kind of in there, right? You can make a case for either, I think. I suspect that my delicious tip over the edge was a nostalgic thing from my teens. I listened to a lot of this stuff, right? And Dashboard Confessional and all that, like, sad boy music. So uh, I liked it. I liked it for that. Uh, do I know the band Fight Star? Not personally. Although I have met them. I interviewed them many, many years ago. Um, yeah, so I do know them. Uh, obviously, it's Charlie Simpson, the ex-busted uh, singer. Is their, their singer. And I, I've listened to some bits of Fight Star. Let me clear this, this rating thing away. We're not, we're not rating Fight Star right now. Um, and Fight Star, I just, it's never quite grabbed me somehow. I, and Charlie's got an incredibly, incredibly good voice. Um, they're drummers. Really fucking good. Uh, Omar, I think it was. I've met him before. Oh, yeah, I guess I met all of my interviews. Um, but yeah, I, I know them. Why'd you ask? Sad Boy Steve. That name does have a ring to it. Let's not make that a thing, Matt. Let's not do that. Uh, Lanky Roof. Hello. Sorry for bothering you. I want to offer a promotion to your channel. You can F off. Uh, I don't need promotion. I'm not here to try and make a bunch of money and I'll give money to bots. <laughs> um, so no thanks. Uh, it's a high song for me. Yeah, yeah, grand, grand. Sad boy Steve, go away, lanky roof. Yeah, you tell him, Josh. Go away. Cool. All right, two great songs. I love those. Now, what else can we do? I've, I've got, I mean, there are other things that were put in the chat earlier. It requested again, if it wasn't like a piss take and actually a long, a long ass song that would take me 11 minutes to do. Um, Shokran Tom, okay, four minutes 42, you got me. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go check that one out. Um, Chakra. I've definitely not heard of these folks. Thoth. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Thoth? Or the, is it the? Looks like Rachel Reacts has done a reaction to this. Uh, the Silent Witness. Is that the one? Yeah. Silent Witness. Okay. Grand. Let me try and get a frame. I'm not watching it. I'm just getting a frame of it up so that I can make sure it's the right ratio here. Let's trim this bad boy. Cool. And then I do my setting stuff. Cool. <clears throat> I will sip on a glass of red while we do that. Toggle YouTube. Get transformed. Thank you. Close. Okay. Exciting. April Art Breakout. Never heard of them. Do, 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 do. do you only want newish stuff? Nah, whatever you like. This is a very free. I mean, tell me as well, again, we've been doing this for well, 35 minutes. How is the quality of this? Thing stream wise, is it like dropping out pixelated? Is the audio okay? What's happening? Because I don't, this is the main purpose of this is to understand if this is a setup that is working in a consistent way. A1, fucking, fucking bonza, mate. All right, that's Aussie for quite, quite lovely, isn't it? Is that what that means? 
Quality is great. Okay, great. Wonderful. That's really exciting, folks. Great for Ashley as well. Okay, if it's great all the way in Australia, like pinging through satellites, that's a quite delicious chat. That's what Bonza means. Great. That's that sounds appropriate. Okay. Um, marvelous. But yeah. So it, you can request old stuff as well, because um, I've not heard every song under the sun. So feel free. Oh, hey, Iridium Hail, Hailstorm. Uh, is Hailstorm is that the band Hailstorm or the band Iridium? Because Hailstorm rings a bell. I think I might have seen them live. Quality's good, dude. Thanks, Drew. Appreciate it. You you of all folks would know because normally the, this is the thing. Anytime I'm on doing a re podcast recording with Drew, I'm pixelated to all fuck. <laughs> so if he's saying this looks good, I, I trust him because he sent me some screenshots where I just looked like a Minecraft character. It's like the YouTube videos. That's amazing. That's so great to hear. He asked you to react to his band song on Discord. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, Ripper song. Oh, yeah. That's someone who hopped in. Is this the, the, the Scream harsh vocalist guy? Yeah, I've not listened to that yet. Um, but I've loaded up this one. Colorblind with Glass Heart. Don't, yeah, that doesn't ring a bell. Yeah, okay, cool. Thanks, Josh. All right, we're going to start with Chakran. So I have it loaded up. And then we'll go on to Iridium. All right. <clears throat> Clear my throat. And let's remind myself what my buttons are here. Okay. So. I've never heard of the band Chakran Thoth before. This is uh, apparently, I guess, it's either this is a song called The Silent Witness or it's called Thoth The Silent Witness. I don't know. Um, this is the first time I'm checking this out, so thank you for the recommendation here. It is four minutes, 41 seconds long, which has no meaning to me at all. I don't know what kind of music this is. I've never heard of them, so that's exciting. I'm always interested in some new music. Let's check this out. And go. There's some interesting sounds in here. Keyboard? Is this like synth metal? Come on. Oh, that's a tasty guitar riff. My God. Fucking serious drumming. Jesus Christ. This is banging so far. Here's double kicks, man. He looks like an ostrich. <laughs> oh my God. It's the guitar, man. That's what's doing this. Jesus Christ, it is relentless. <laughs> that's a six string bass. The pinched harmonic bends are sick. Pedals. Killing it. Oh my god. You wouldn't want to do this for more than four minutes and 41 seconds. Ooh, we have clean. Double track vocal though. Oh, 
Ah, right pad, sure. It's an odd, like, keyboard synthy thing that comes in now, man. It does need a breath. That was great. There's a, there's a harmony here. Almost this organ thing going on. Some lovely melody in there. This dude can play. Oh yeah. Their style. Hey. But there's two leads, it's a harmony. You can hear there's two lead guitars there. Oh my fucking god. Come on! This is sick. Five string bass, I think. Mean. One second, mate. Oh. Jesus. That's bad to say. Like, fucking hell. <laughs> that started to feel like it was going on for 11 minutes because it was so so fast and busy and relentless. You, like, that is enough notes played that you could normally fit into, <clears throat> like a 10 minutes off, I would say, because that was played at pace. Ah, the, the, oh, there's so much to enjoy there. That was a, a banger from start to finish. I, e there was a point at which I was even comfortable with the fact that there might be no clean vocals in here. I was like, you know what? Everything else around it's so delicious, it's okay. I tend to like some kind of a chorus, some kind of melody. And then it came. I rejoiced, it was fantastic, really liked it. And it had a bit of a harmony to it, which was great. The only thing I wasn't digging was the choice of that almost like an electronic organ sound that was coming in now and then. I, I, don't, I don't understand the need for that layer. Even if they're gonna have that layer, Pick a different sound. I don't know. That sound didn't do it for me. It reminded me of kind of like symphonic metal, which I'm not quite into that sort of sound. Um, but the guitar riff, riffage, I mean, there's several in there. It's just so tasty. The drummer was exceptionally good. The blistering pace of some of those double kicks was amazing. And switching up the, the rhythm of it as well, going to triplets at one point, nice and busy. He looked like that was the 20th take of the music video though, sweat pouring the rest. I don't know whether that was like an aesthetic he was going for, like let's look like we're all just come out of the shower. Um, but I felt bad for the man, he looked, he looked exa exhausted. But he was fantastic, really enjoyed that. Uh, I didn't tune in too much to what the bass was doing because the guitar was such an overwhelmingly incredible force, but I'm sure it was great. I mean, I, anytime I see someone with five strings or more, I naively assume they're very good at bass. I'm sure that's what they, uh, you know, bass guitar stores want you to think uh, as well. But yeah, I don't know, I, I, want, I need to hear that again and really tune into what the bass was doing. Love the vocals. And again, not normally, I don't normally go for something that has a ton of that kind of like harshness and growls throughout, but it worked. I think the rest was so good with the bouncy, up-paced groove. It's fucking sick. Right, let's rate that bad boy. I think it's easy. I think it's an easy rating. I don't think it's masterpiece. I, I, I can, it's just because of that crazy organ synth sound. But delicious. Undoubtedly a delicious song. Four minutes, 41 seconds. Bloody well spent, I would say. That was fantastic. Chakran, hopefully that's the correct pronunciation of it, was phenomenal. I loved that. Nice. It's so good, my limbs couldn't stop moving. It's a, yeah, man, delicious song. 100% Master Lion. No, uh, epic, but yeah, Minecraft, Steve, let's not. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. How about, so, okay, there's more, more requests coming in, cool. This is full on, yeah, that was fucking full on, wasn't it? But I was here for it. 
I didn't mind it at all. That was great. Now someone said, uh, did, uh, could you please maybe do April art song next? Because I have to leave the stream soon, it'll be great. I was gonna do the Iridium one next, but tell you what, man, if you are gonna hop off soon, if you're still, tell you what, ping me a message if you're still here. Uh, you did, you see that delicious song. All right, I will do yours next as you have to hop off, and then we'll, we'll do the Iridium one. I do definitely wanna get to that one, so don't worry. Okay, let's look this one up. April art. Uh, where did you request the actual thing? April art breakout. Okay, let's figure out the right. Make sure this April art. Very colorful hair. Is this the one? This, yeah, breakout official. Okay, we've got the right aspect ratio. Marvelous. There's a lot of flight places. Flight places? Flight places? Light cases. Okay. <clears throat> uh, what's this other one you requested? Sunna Power Struggle, old school, bone depth, year 2000. That is old school. It doesn't, in my memory, two, the year 2000 doesn't feel like that long ago, which is depressing, because uh, it is like 24 years. Jesus. Uh, the Slow March of Time. April Art. Has anyone else in the chat checked this out already? Do we know who April Art is? Are 138,000 views. Some people did it for three years ago. Okay, uh, 10,000 subs. Cool. Very striking hair. <clears throat> let's uh, let's check this out. Don't know their their name. All right. Well, let's let's all discover something new. I'm not going to put them on because I'm going to do the the intro thing. Where's me buttons? There it is. Never heard of them before. Cool. Well, it'll be fun for all of us. Okay. I'm in. Yeah. Great. This will be my first time ever listening to April Art. This is a track called Breakout. All I know about it is it's three and a half minutes long. But it, someone's requested this in a Twitch chat, so thank you very much to MasterLion92. Uh, okay, let's load this up and see what it's like. And go! It's time to break out! I heard a shotgun. So we have some groove. Now it's time to hit the road. Okay. I'm free <coughs> from the overload. Got a kind of hard rock. Vibe. Doing some things in the production. Chorus. Got a good like rock and roll voice for this. And there's a thickness to the riff. Again, choices in the production are interesting. No pain, no gain, I leave everything I've been. Because my heart just won't give in. Got some steel panther vibes. I kind of want that to be a push beat. That's good though. It's a very tidy chorus. Take a nickel back. Who I like. But it's got a bit of that double kick action. Right there. Skin a bit, stuck in acid. The roughness to it. 
Motif here that I kind of want to be a lead guitar for some reason. Mm. I did not understand the music video at all. I, 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 in fairness, I wasn't really trying to follow it, but it was confusing. Uh, okay, I'm not restarting that. Um, well, now here's the thing. <clears throat> Someone in the chat on Twitch here said country rock, and yeah, I'd agree. It did remind me a little bit of some things that Nickelback put together, and I like that too. I know. But there's something very satisfying in some of those very well honed, you know, exacting pop rock courses with like simple kind of not wrung out guitars necessarily. It is kind of a riff, but it's it's slow to change between chords and things. I quite like it. Now, things in that that confuse me a little bit, I, I saw they were, what they were trying to do was kind of innovative in a way with some of the production there, like almost making the record kind of stop on a vinyl player doing kind of skips and things. I found it a little bit distracting from the song. It, it kind of jarred a little bit. It didn't feel like it was slickly smoothly done. Um, maybe that was the point. I'm sure choices were made all very intentionally there. But that it just felt like it was kind of three songs in one, three ideas combined into one song. And where I do think, hey, fill your boots and try some things. And you know, one song doesn't have to be one thing the whole time. It felt a little bit shoehorned together, some of those, some of those ideas. But the moments within there, I, I really liked. I thought the, the vocal was pretty decent, particularly I think in the chorus it worked. Um, and the kind of the, bra the bridge bit where it kind of had a spacey sort of slow, you know, EDM sort of vibe, I thought it was particularly strong. Some of the lyrical choices I thought were a bit like, eh, they didn't really uh, deliver that, that strongly for me. It's a bit simplistic perhaps, but, um, but it was good. I, I quite liked it. I quite liked it for what it was, I would say. Um, I think we're spoiled by some of the more innovative metalcore stuff that we've been checking out more recently, but it was good. I dug it. Some of the Nickelback stuff I love, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Rating? Can anyone guess? What, 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 have you heard anything by Fit for half? I've not heard anything by Fit for an autopsy. I don't mind talking in, to the chat over this part, because this, this won't end up on the, on the channel of the stand below video. <laughs> um, Solid, definite solid. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's it's solid. I, I don't think, I'm on the wrong window. I, I mean, I, I think it is better than halfway decent. I think that's, that's a solid song. I think it's hard to put together something that's, that's that catchy, well put together. It has a really good mix to it. The guitar sounded fucking super fat. Um, and there's some nice moments in the drumming here and there as well, some double kick things. Solid, solid, yeah, people are, are saying the same. Um, so yeah, fit for an autopsy. I know that name, yes, I have heard them, um, but I've not heard them for like oh, four years or so. So anything they've done recently, I have no idea. But um, one of my friends who's really into the heavy, heavy shit, uh, turned me on to them, or tried to turn me on to them, was like, yeah, this is all right, but it's quite heavy. Again, this is a few years ago, I'm getting a little bit heavier these days. So I've not really uh, heard anything recent from them, if, if even they're doing recent stuff, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna put this away. Uh, what else is being shared here? Country rock, yeah. Vocals, voice sounded familiar. Yeah, <clears throat> I said it during the, the reaction thing. Groove. Oh yeah, really? Well, now you've piqued my interest. Um, yeah, Skin from Skunk and Nancy, the voice reminded a bit there. There's a kind of a, a, a deepness to it, a bit of gruffness that she had there, uh, which is kind of cool. All right, I'm gonna start loading up uh, when I said I'd get back to you. Iridium. And I'm gonna have to look up this, the chat to see what the name of the song was. Uh, so this is someone who hopped into my Discord. I'm sure he did yours as well, Drew, probably, if he's a smart man. Um, requesting we check out their song. Where is it? Uh, I can't find it. Uh, 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 Josh was talking about it. Mm -mm -mm. Where is it? I'm sure this is making for great content here. 
I can't find it. What was uh, Iridium? Uh, da, da, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Hailstorm. That's the one. Hailstorm. Thanks, Josh. I finally scrolled down. Hailstorm. Okay. Let's look this one up. Da, da, da. So the my Iridium. Yeah, it was a good song. Yeah, that's that's this. I've not heard it yet. That was the consensus of the feedback that we're getting from my Discord. Although I have a very polite Discord. So maybe they were just being really polite. It's very possible. Um, I'm gonna check the aspect ratio on this. Is this all right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Goodbye to everyone. Thanks for stopping by, Master Lion. Very nice. Very nice of you to join for the first stream ever. And fucking enjoyed the song. Cool shit, man. Thanks. Okay. Ciao. Ciao indeed. All right. Well, I'm delighted the, the stream's still working, man. This is very exciting. Okay. Uh, Iridium. <clears throat> Let's have a look. See, this came out 13 days ago. 13 days. Okay, cool. Right. Let's do an intro thing in case this ends up on the old YouTube. Uh, can I get his name? Actually, no, I'm not going to shout out that, like, he's asked for this. Let's make it, you know, in case, let's big up the band and be like, this is a legit thing. I've not been, you know, kindly requested. Uh, let's, let's see this up and coming act, as it were. <clears throat> <coughs> Man, I got to stop coughing. It's not good. Anyway, this will be my first time ever listening to this uh, group. They're called Iridium. The song, I believe, is called Hailstorm, according to YouTube. Um, what is it? Four minutes, 44 seconds. I don't know anything about this other than folks in my Discord said, it's good. That's exciting. And I know that there's a scream vocalist at some point. That's, that's all I have on this one. So let's check out some music, new music and go. That's a nice pattern already. <laughs> That's tricky on the drums. It's that after the snare. Yeah, there's a gap and then the kicks come in. There's a bit of groove. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh huh. Trying to symbol getting some work. Takes a bit of lead guitar there. These lads are getting soaked. Where are the rain jackets? Oh, mates. That was nice. Uh-huh. That was nice. A couple of vocal tracks on that bit. That guitar layer is nice. There's kind of a keyboard motif in here. Is it? I know there's a lead guitar, but there's something interesting there. Blah. Why not?
Yeah, it's that. Putting him to work, man. There's a lot of screen work. I'm such a dad, I'm like, they look they must be getting cold at this point. Where are their jackets? This is a nice moment. Just that slight bend of the guitar. catch what the significance of the rose was I didn't follow uh, okay alrighty Iridium hailstorm <clears throat> they, they looked like they were in some kind of hailstorm my god very wet um, I just really it must be quite hard to do those videos in the wet because you're gonna get soft fingers which means if you're like on guitar strings playing away that's going to be horrifically painful because the soft fingers is not what you want there. Um, I've never considered that before now. Eh, it's all right. You're welcome. That thought just popped into my head. Um, so uh, there definitely were things to enjoy about that. I The whole mix I thought was pretty decent. I liked the, the, it was a good balance of prominence of the lead guitar that was in the kind of verses moments and the, and the kind of and the chorus as well. It was prominent enough. It was a nice layer that was there. It wasn't overly dominating. There's a risk of that at times. Um, so I thought that was pretty nice. Solid fucking drum work. That The intro section with the double kick pedal fills within that as part of the drum beat. The way they followed after the snare, but after a beat, it wasn't like the snare was the first run of, say, eight kicks. Snare gap, and then the rest of the run, that was fucking cool. Really tricky uh, to play coordination-wise, so I enjoyed that. I liked that there were screen vocals as well as clean vocals. I liked a bit of dynamic variety that that offers. Um, I think the screen vocals, I mean, they asked a lot of the gentleman, like he did a lot of that song with the screen vocals. I think and there was moments where there was variety within the delivery of it, but I think I would have appreciated more. Like I think the more that they, you know, add to their quiver of potential of, you know, screen vocal stylings, that can add a little bit more dynamic range to the song and make it a bit more interesting. Um, <clears throat> after a while, especially for the length of time he was needing to do within verses, whatever it was. It got a little bit samey for me towards, towards the end of some of those phrases. I love that there was a clean vocal that came in. I thought the chorus was pretty strong as a result. Um, nice, you know, it's a lovely bit of metalcore. Not as much in the innovative realm as, as perhaps they might find in future, but fucking, you know, decent. Let's say very decent. They put a lot of effort into that and uh, they, they risked get, catching a cold the music video, let's say. Uh, let's have a rating on that one. So there's a bit of variety of ratings going on in the, the Twitch chat. Let's have a look. Oh, Swerve City's City is following me. Hey, thanks. I know who that is. Um, Zaman's like, oh, who is it? What band is he in? No, uh, it's my bro. <clears throat> so great, yeah, d delicious. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna say solid. I think that was solid. You know, there were, there were delicious moments in there, again. Afro mentioned double kicks earlier on in the song were great. Um, I liked the two vocals and variety there was nice. Guitar fucking ripped in moments there. It definitely, it didn't bore me, you know. Um, there were moments where it got a little bit samey and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing them innovate in future and push the boundary out a little bit. But it was good, man. That was a decent, that was a decent heavy track. Didn't hate it at all. Very nice. Um, so yeah, some, so a couple delicious for, for Alan. High solid, some other solids in there. Perhaps condense it down to four minutes. Yeah, but, but he, yeah, yeah, I agree with a lot of this. Uh, the only newest of potential. Yeah, this is it. Like if I were fucking, if I today were putting together a metalcore band and we came out and produced a song like that, I'd be delighted with myself. Like that's good, you know. 
Solid's not a bad thing at all. That was, that was, that was pretty pretty sweet. Actually, uh, yeah, I feel like it needs a bit of range. Yeah, a bit of range, Sammy. Good, yeah, great potential, no question. That was, it was, yeah, very solid in a positive, happy, good way. Nice, okay. Well, how are we doing here? We're going for an hour and a bit. Um, tell you what, let's do one more. The only reason I'm cutting it after uh, another one is I don't want my voice to go. The, I've, I'm, I'm like, I basically I've been sick since the 1st of January. I had two weeks of some rubbishy illness cold thing and I got over that. As soon as I got over that, I got a new sore throat and I can, I, I'm basically, I've been on paracetamol and ibuprofen back to back all day this week and uh, it's just not doing the job. My, yeah, my wife's now on antibiotics, like it's, I'm worried it's gonna get rid of the kids. Yeah, the kids, man, if you have kids, they're like a school and a nursery system are just cesspools of illnesses that you just connect to. So yeah, in the winter months are the absolute worst. Don't forget to drink everyone. You're goddamn right. I'm sure this is exactly what's gonna help me <laughs> get my throat all better. Swerve City, how's the, how's the quality of your end, man? You, you'll let me know, to be honest. Kids are paying petri dishes. It's true. It's true. But, I mean, it makes sense in a way that, like, they have to build up their immune systems. They have to get all these illnesses. But you forget that parents do, too. It's fucking harsh. Pretty good so far, yeah. Look at you. Yeah. Pretty good. It's pretty good so far. Yeah, cool. Great. I'll take that. I'm amazed, man, because this is, again, this is on laptop. I'm streaming and recording at the same time. I thought the laptop would blow up. So, it's mostly water. Is wine mostly water? I'll take that. Sure. Thanks, Graham. Appreciate it, man. Uh, Nessa, yeah, yeah. I got you. Yeah, fucking bring me some summer sun and warmth. That'll help. All right, we're going to do uh, one more then. Uh, which one should we do? Let's see. A, 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 a Laura Ultimate, a Ultra Ultimate Opus Power? That name fills me with fear. Is that gonna be like power metal? Is that what that is? You can take our warmth this off. Is it really roasting hot in Brisbane? Is that what's happening? Cause it's summer there, isn't it for you guys? That's madness. Um, Astenoid, I dream in lines live, a live performance? It's horrible. <laughs> Too much, eh? Um, uh, Astronoid, what a peculiar name. Tell you what, I'm gonna be judging books by their covers. I'm gonna look this up on uh, YouTube. You know, we can all do this together. Let's, let's do that. I'm gonna look up Astra, Astronoid. It's not eyes, is it? What was it? I dream in lines. This is when I wish I had my brother listening to this stuff first, in case this is like... The thing is, if I start something, I'm like, this is not for me. I mean, that doesn't fill me with promise. Oh, it's the live thing. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you're, if you're recommending a live thing, They've got to be pretty good, right? Right? Should we try it? Just for the lulls? Watch a, watch a live thing? Astronoid? Brett, what kind of music is this? You be the judge. <laughs> I will. Maybe I should buy a judge outfit. Get a whole, get a whole thing going. Um, all right, you know what, Brett? Famous last words. Um, I'm going to trust you on this one, man. Let's give this a go. Okay. Asteroid. So this will be interesting because I, I don't know the group. I've never heard of Asteroid. So I don't know what they sound like in the studio. So I don't have anything to compare them with for a live sound. It's like mid-30s, but humi humidity is off the charts. Humidity's the killer. Do Siamese numb live. Um, yeah, Siamese. I dug that song that you asked me to check out of theirs. And I saw that they released a new song, what, today, was it? But I've not heard it. Um, it's amazing. Second half. Yeah, I'm sure you have yeah, the humidity. Anyway, okay, I'm getting sidetracked. Okay, last one. Let's watch some live stuff. Live at Futura. I dream in lines. Okay. I'll do a quick little intro thing. So I've never heard of Astronoid before, but I've been recommended by Brett in the, the Twitch live chat. Check out this uh, song. It's called I Dream in Lines. Uh, I don't know what that means. And this is live, this is a live performance. So 
I'm assuming because they've been recommended this is going to be a good live performance. Or maybe it's one of these joke things, it's like this is the worst live thing you've ever seen. Uh, we're about to find out. Let's have a little look see. It's five minutes long. And go. I assume there's no sound here on purpose. <clears throat> Good mix, early doors. It's very pretty. What a voice. It's like higher than Kohi vocals. But the music reminds me of Kohi and Camber quite a bit. Such a chill drummer. But it's busy drumming. Okay. That's a pace. It's like if AI tried to imagine angels and airwaves with double kicks. Anyone? Strings on that bass. I don't hate it. It's a very peculiar voice. I can't think of who it's like. Silver Sun pickups. I don't know Silver Sun pickups. Yeah, good point, is it? That vocal with the heaviness of the kicks and stuff is like... Quite a combination. Very interesting. I'm getting a, a harmony to the vocal, but I'm not seeing it. Maybe it's an effect of music. No one else is singing. We're not gonna end on this. We'll do one more. I mean, it's quite pretty. But I think... Not only is the vocal unusual in the range, 
It's only hitting like four notes. So it's kind of similar. Hiya, Mercury. Welcome. <laughs> well, that was, you know what, like, that was, that was certainly interesting. You know, I've never heard anything that sounded quite like that. And that's always a worthy exercise, 100%. I mean, technically very gifted. Certainly the drummer was fantastic, really, really good. And the guitars as well. I mean, some of the guitars were just like individual notes and you have to just be very on time when you pick those out, especially when they're harmonizing. Um, the bassist was doing some busy stuff actually, some double stroking in there that was important to get right. And that's a hell of a range for a voice to be hitting. You know, those, the, the higher you go, the closer together the notes are. So it's quite tricky for that. Um, but as I said, listen to it, I, I might have been more interested in that voice if there were more than like four notes in the melodies. It, it, was, it was kind of very similar throughout. But I get that that's kind of the point of this. It was an atmospheric song that had different gears to it. Um, yeah, it was very interesting. Very interesting. How, how are we rating this? Yeah, 100% Graham, like, some, this is someone's favorite thing in the world. Someone's going, thank God someone finally made this song. Like, it's, yeah, someone's going to love that for sure. Um, uh, what am I going to say for that one? I mean, my immediate impulse is that it's, it's halfway decent. I think there's some stuff in there I, I was, was great, but um, it didn't quite land for me. Um... I wanna, I wanna be more positive and be like solid, but I think even the, the, the structure of the song wasn't, wasn't particularly interesting. Um, but again, that's not the point, right? They've, they've done this on purpose. They're looking to create an atmosphere uh, and, and you know, tweak little different things. Fair enough, wanting to give you something. To, yeah, much appreciated. Really appreciate that. I'm always interested in something I've never heard before. I've never heard that combination of sound before, certainly with that voice. <laughs> Was not expecting that. And uh, it was cool. But then equally, when I first heard Coheed and Cambria, I was not ready for that voice. But I dug that. That cut through in a nice way. This one, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was the melodies. I'm not sure. But it was certainly interesting. And uh, I'm, I'm grateful for, for spending the time checking that one out. Uh, thanks, Graham. Yeah. The honesty is hard. Especially when, like, I want, I want to love it. Because, you know, I want to say, you know, be grateful for it. But, like, you've got to be... Gotta be Gotta be true. Otherwise, what's the point? There's no point in reacting to something if it's not like going to be a genuine reaction. What would what would actually be the point? Um, but yeah, I'm just I'm like yeah. So far, we've had we've had all kinds of interesting stuff on the stream. I'm gonna do one more, and here's what I'm gonna do uh, to end on something. My brother is quite good at curating songs for himself, so I'm gonna look at the l playlist that he's helped me with of requests that I've had that he's gone. Yeah, check that out. <clears throat> Let's have a look here. What's one of your ones here, Paul? Oh, Paul, I finally listened to Seeing Things. Sounds fucking great. Uh, that was on the playlist. Accused Currents, spelled A-C-C-V-S-E-D. Does anyone know them? What genres do you listen to the least that you would that you would be interested in? That I listen to the least that I would be interested in. Because if I don't listen to them very often, what do I mean? I mean, uh, I guess I don't listen to a lot of acoustic these days but there's some, there's some amazing acoustic stuff it's not very rock but I don't know in the rock world hmm I don't know I kind of listen to a lot of it the stuff I like I listen to a lot the stuff I don't like as much I don't listen to much I mean symphonic metal I don't listen to a lot of that but sometimes they, it can be good anyway rabbit hole um yeah accused has anyone heard of that then let's try that my brother reckons it's, it's, it's worth a go country and western uh, Western, probably not, not so much, but I probably would like, right? That kind of bluesy rock stuff might be good. Um, but I, I like country rock. As I say, they go back also some like ridiculous pop radio friendly country rock. I'm into Sugarland. I like Sugarland. Uh, Hardy. Enjoy a bit of Hardy. Accused or Decent. Okay. Someone's asked for this as well. I've not heard them yet. This song is called Currents. This will be the, the, the last one that we'll bow out for the, for the day. Um, okay. Let me, get my, let me get myself ready for this one. <clears throat> so, 
This will be my very first time listening to a band called Accused, spelt with a V, that seems to be popular these days. Um, the song is called Currents. Uh, I've not heard this before. It's four and a half minutes long. Interested to see what this is like. Uh, someone in the Twitch chat, by name of Ash, has said they're decent. So that's exciting. Um, let's line this up and go. <laughs> Oh, that bass. That cut through nicely. Choking the symbol. Cool. That's a nice moment. Uh-huh. A few vocal things going on here. There's a harmony to it. There's a screen vocal backing it up low in the mix. It's almost like all these sides there. Oh, did not expect this tempo. Nice call out. Lovely. <laughs> like the song so far, what a burn that bucket hat. Mercury, I kind of hear you. <laughs> I don't know that it needs that vocal effect. That bit there, but... Interesting. Choices were made. Um, 
A lot to like in there. There were some fantastic groovy moments within that, some riffs I totally enjoyed, some gaps where everything cut out, which I liked, some call outs in those gaps was just a vocal right before something came in with the full band and a beat down moment. That was great. I enjoyed that there were a variety of kind of effects going on in there. You know, it wasn't just straight laced guitar, drum, you know, vocal recording. Um, I do think it was overcooked at times that like, I don't hate the sort of robotic production of a vocal line in the background. You'll hear Bring Me the Rise and do things like that. But these folks, they, they, I think it was a little overcooked the way that, you know, strange matrixy auto-tune vocal thing came in and out. It was very distracting. And I don't know that on repeat listens that's going to get less distracting. Um, there was some, a lot of kind of metalcore tropes in there which were, were done very well. Um, but it did start to get a little repetitive when they, they had the sort of spacey moments with the scream call out and then back in again. I think that happened quite a lot. And maybe the song didn't need to be four and a half minutes long. Especially there's a moment towards the end there where I was calling out like, I don't know what the purpose of this section is. It kind of didn't have a lot of power and heat, but it also wasn't mellow. It was kind of in between. It was a sort of a nothing space. But then I had a vocal come in and out towards the end. And it was like, okay, that gives a bit of purpose. And the vocal disappeared again for a bit. So I think it could have done a little bit more time in the, in the, in the writing process, perhaps, and a little less time in the recording production side of things, is my sense of, of that song. So as a rating, I'm going to, I mean, I think it's solid. I think that's a, that's a solid overall song. There were delicious moments. Like I said, there was a moment in the breakdown, I was like, this might save it, because it was so fucking delicious. Um, the bounciness of the drums, some of the snare stuff that was going on there. But the distractions and some of the slightly not very inventive moments within there kind of took it back a peg for me. So solid overall, I'd say. What's everyone else feeling here? Cool song. Interesting choices in the production, but solid, yeah, again, yeah, needs to be shorter, perhaps. Vocal effects, not for me. But overall, quite tasty. Yeah, there's some tasty stuff in there. The bucket hat wasn't the tastiest. New Radicals, if anyone that remembers them. Um, solid, hat not for me. Mercury, you're totally fair enough. I agree with you. When I say this, though, uh, someone who used to wear a bucket hat, not like, not like regularly. I think I had a moment where I wore it for like two months, but also, I was like 15, Paul? How old was I? New Radicals, yeah, yeah. Ah, Tune though, they had a great song, that one. Uh, you know, there's a lull. Cool, too old. Yeah, too old a reference. <laughs> too, oh, too old. Yeah, I was too old to wear a bucket hat. No shit. Uh, I have, you still have a bucket hat. I don't anymore. Who's cooler now, Hey. It's just, it's just not for this video, sure. <laughs> That's the thing. I have a Void of Vision bucket hat. I think that makes it cool. There's a question. P uh, Paul, would you wear a Void of Vision bucket hat? I know the answer to this. There is no band alive <laughs> whose merch, if, <laughs> if featured on a bucket hat, would I wear? Um, hard pass. Yeah, fair enough. Totally fair enough. Um, well... Thank you, folks, for being here for the first ever uh, live stream. I have Backstreet Boys bucket hat. Fuck off, did you? That is so cool. That's cooler than Boy Divisions. It's not, but I respect it. I respect the honesty, sir, ma'am. Um, <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah, thanks, folks, for being here for this uh, first ever live stream attempt here on Twitch. I had a good time doing it. Man, if, if I had more of a, a, a voice behind me because of the, the cold that I'm rocking, I'd probably try and keep going. It's been great. Learned some interesting things, uh, discovered some music I've never heard before. And that is always time worth spent. And a couple of fucking delicious things in there as well. Yeah, thanks, Alan. Thanks everyone for, for you know, get to bed, young man. Yeah, I know, I should. I'll finish my glass of wine and then, then I'll go to bed. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming to the the end of that. I uh, hope I do more. I'll definitely do more. If this is actually gone as well, technically in terms of the bit rate and the quality of the stream, um, then absolutely, and I'll figure out chat overlays and all that gizmo things that the youths know how to do to make it even jazzer and more fun and engaging. So, yes, I don't have a plan for a schedule. I'm going to work all that stuff out, but this has been a blast. Thank you very much for being here again. Enjoy the rest of your days, especially if you're in Australia. The, the day is still ahead of you. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch you all again. 
hopefully another time soon. Do hit the follow if you've not done that yet, and that way I think you'll find out when I'm streaming live on here. Uh, that'd be fun. Or hop in uh, the Discord server if you're not in there already, and we can chat. You know, I chat there regularly throughout the days as well. Let me find the link to that, uh, and I'll ping it in the chat if you want to stick around for that. Otherwise, feel free to hop off if you're already in there. Um, let me just do that just for the sake of completeness. Here it is. There's a link here. If you click on this, you'll be able to hop into the Discord and say hi. Cool. All right, folks. Thanks again. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.